On this week's edition of InCycle, we're in Portugal with local hero Rui Costa. É sempre uma sensação muito muito agradável correr correr em Portugal. É, é certo que não temos a oportunidade de, de estar a de competir. Canyon Shram's Alexis Ryan takes us into her world of cycling. For me, it's really important to be an all-rounder. It's important to be strong in every aspect, and that's what creates great bike racers. But first, a new challenge for fast man Jens de Buskere. Among the transfers during the past off-season, one that turned plenty of heads was Jens de Buskere's decision to switch from the World Tour to French squad B&B Hotel's Vital Concept. For the 30-year-old, the opportunity to join Jérôme Pinot's UCI Pro team was one he simply couldn't refuse. It actually started when we got uh, the news that the Katusha team didn't really want to continue in the Tour de France, last year's Tour de France. And then uh, my agent and Jérôme uh, went to speak with each other and that's actually the first uh, that has been the first contact with the team and I immediately was really uh, happy with, uh, with the offer and uh, the confidence they showed in me and they said immediately we want to wait as long as, as we can and uh, no rush, we will, uh, we will wait for you and then uh, this gives, gave me really a lot of confidence and that's where uh, my search for another team ended immediately. The part of being a French team, it's not really a big issue. I just uh, uh, find it really nice to be in an environment that is so uh, friendly and, and even familiar with each other. Everybody gets along, nobody speaks about anybody else. It's really um, enjoyable to, to be in this setting and this, uh, this team. I also spoke with uh, Frederick Packard as he was coming to this team and then uh, we have actually uh, a nice group of Belgians and uh, it's nice to speak uh, Flemish every now and then in between some uh, French and English. So uh, uh, that's uh, a nice thing also. Yeah. 2019 was a season of frustration for de Buskere following his switch from Lotto Sudal to Katusha with the Belgians struggling for results and confidence through the spring. Now working alongside star sprinter Brian Kokal, he's hoping his new home will offer better opportunities over the coming seasons. It was a bit disappointing. Results uh, didn't come and uh, this is something that gets in your head as, a, as an athlete and um, uh, so we want to we want to make things right this year and um, uh, I really personally also want to really really have a good level again and uh, and show myself again like I was uh, the years before. And it's time to go, go, go! And Valmoz Nagel is still holding on to it. Bakos picks up, he's doing this for Tyler Farrar. Farrar looks, he looks, he looks again. So does Bakos, oh. he's holding on. We've got a man down in the pack from Sky and Fimiani that's gone. So that has them asunder. Oh, it's the Belgian champion that hits the front. Superb effort, weaving all over the road. Debuchet's going to make it. Oh, he does so. What a performance that was. Normally, uh, we have Brian as a main sprinter and I'll be helping him um, in the, the really big sprints. Besides that, of course, the classics are really important, have always been for me and will always be, I guess. But I also want to enjoy uh, riding the classics again and not with too much stress and uh, for that it's only it's only as making my, uh, my choice easier to come here and uh, because we can we can ride quite free through the classics uh, and I think this helps to get a really better result. With that eye to the classics, there's one race in particular that the former Belgian champion has in mind, Kent Wevelkem. It's been my, my training uh, parkour ever since I was uh, starting 
uh, racing and this camelback has something i don't know why but has something uh, good for me that i i always go through it pretty easy and even with the best of the world which is not the case on the quarmont or uh, any other uh, little hill in belgium uh, the camelback has always been my favorite and the for me the most easy to climb that's why uh, my results are always the best in Antwiverham and that's also why it's my favorite race. The only problem there is that sometimes or most of the times uh, a lot of good sprinters get over it and uh, uh, they are still there in the final but uh, I'm still hoping that one day uh, Novi Vianis and uh, Christophs will be there and then uh, I can go for a podium or whatever as close as possible. Cycling in the early 1990s proved somewhat of a watershed. Nowhere more so than in Spain, and in particular the Basque Country. Bolstered by the successes of the likes of Miguel Indurain and Abraham Olano, the legendary Euskaltel Euskadi team entered the sport and the hearts and minds of the region they fiercely represented. Over the course of 19 years, the team almost single-handedly changed the face of Basque cycling and became a cult favourite for fans the world over. Unfortunately, after 18 Grand Tour stage wins, the team disbanded in 2013. Five years later, however, the eye-catching orange kits made a return to cycling in the guise of the Fundación Euskadi team, spearheaded by former Euskaltel rider and current Bahrain McLaren leader, Mikel Landa. Back in 2015, InCycle took a trip to the Tour of the Basque Country to find out more about the story of this cycling heartland. No sé, nos sentimos muy muy orgullosos de, de, de este deporte. Por ejemplo, en Euskadi no solamente se, se aplaude al ganador y no solamente cuando el ganador es, es de casa o de Euskadi, no, sino que se aplaude también al último, también al que es de fuera. Bueno, a mí me gustan los ciclistas los luchadores al final, ¿no? Los, la gente que lo da todo en la carrera y que aunque no gane, pues que se exprima, que intente tácticas diferentes y, y gente que, que conecte con el público al final. Eh, muchos de los ciclistas eh, que tienen más carisma son gente que, que aunque no tenga un palmarés muy bueno, pero por garra, punto honor, lucha, es lo que se pide. Exactamente igual que en el fútbol. En el fútbol uno no puede pelear con la calidad de grandes equipos y sí puede pelear con la garra y con, y con todas esas cosas. One such rider who epitomizes that bravery is Ametz Churruca. Born and bred in Echebarria, Churruca rode for Euskaltel Euskadi for six of his 11 seasons in pro cycling before his retirement in 2016. Hombre, yo me acuerdo que desde niño Desde niño ya iba a ver la carrera que acababa en Arrate, pues ya te digo, vivo a 10 kilómetros de Arrate, menos, 8 kilómetros. Entonces iba todos los años, veía a mis ídolos, aquí a Pucci, Kiocholi, Indurain, todos allí. Entonces sí que ha sido especial y luego poder competir yo en esa carrera, pues me hace mucha ilusión. Hay mucha afición, hay mucha historia en cuanto al ciclismo y sí que es una pasión que se vive mucho. Developing talents like Churruca was for years the raison d'etre of Euskaltel Euskadi. In that time, the panache and flair of so many of those riders undoubtedly endeared it to the cycling world. However, that dedication to Basque talents arguably contributed to its downfall. Euskaltel, que era nuestro referente, eh, ha sido siempre un equipo que ha estado, entre comillas, colgado por, por lo que es la mundo de la política, al fin y al cabo. Las instituciones siempre han apoyado y demás. Y está claro que ahora vemos un poco cómo está todo el mundo del World Tour y son grandes empresas, son grandes sponsors, son multinacionales las que sujetan. La empresa pública ya no puede resistir tantos millones de euros que cuesta un equipo, pero yo creo que en el País Vasco se necesita un referente con un sponsor de fuera o de casa, pero sí que necesita un referente, algo creado aquí. Throughout the ups and downs, however, the Basque region has always been able to depend on its vibrant amateur scene, 
Institutions like the Club Ciclista Ibarres have been essential in building the next generation of Basque riders. The club also organises the biggest amateur event in the region, with past winners including the likes of Oscar Freire, Joaquim Rodríguez and Mikel Nieve. Sobre todo con las carreras estas de, de alevines y de juveniles, que se ve gente que tiene ganas de, de seguir y de correr. Organizamos carreras, organizamos cinco carreras, si no recuerdo mal, dos de alevines, dos de juveniles y una de élite y sus 23. Son de formar a ciclistas y, y de sacar gente adelante. De hecho, aquí han, han corrido gente como Rolo Rillo, gente como Asterloa, campeones del mundo, y bueno, me re, se me olvidaría mucho de los que han corrido aquí. Through the ups and downs of Basque cycling, the passion and support have always remained. And it's these factors that see Basque's talent flourishing at the highest level in the likes of Mikel Landa, Peyo Bilbao and the aforementioned Mikel Nieve. With such stars lighting up races and talent in the pipeline, the future is still bright for one of cycling's greatest regions. Ventura, California is its a sleepy beach bum town, not a lot, whole lot going on. I used to surf, I used to run cross country, played soccer, did just about every sport that any young kid would do. My dad got my brother, sister and I into cycling. He used to take us to the races every weekend at the crack of dawn. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's how I got into it. I think I was nine or so when I first started racing. I've been around the sport for so long, so I think that's helped with my instinct. But then when I was a junior, I did every discipline, and that really helped me build up all of my skills. Especially mountain bike and cyclocross helps with all kinds of scenarios, especially ones where you're in danger of crashing. Like, I've escaped so many catastrophes and I didn't even think about it, I just reacted. In Strata, it really helped. You know, we railing the dirt sections, I was completely comfortable, where most other girls were like, ah, super scared of crashing, and yeah, it's fine. And I think it's really helped. I think everyone should ride mountain bike and cyclocross. I think women's cycling is so exciting because it's unpredictable. You have to be good at everything. In men's cycling, I think because there's so much more opportunity, there's so many different types of races for them, they can specialize. They can be a sprinter or they can be a climber. They can be labeled where women really have to, we really have to embrace all the opportunities that we get because we don't get that many of them. Um, so we need to be good at everything, you know, to really showcase our talents and to really be at the pinnacle of the sport and be on the top. It didn't help the situation. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the women in the peloton are strong and they're hard women and they're all very difficult competitors. Um, you know, I think there's an incredible group in the women's peloton right now, and yeah. every one of them yeah. is worthy of the podium of victory. Watching all the women's racing develop, um, Mariana Voss was like a huge idol for me because when I was in junior, I raced a lot of cross, and on the road too, she was really dominant. So she was always someone that I wanted to be. She's definitely someone that I admire because she's strong in all areas, which, you know, she's physically capable of being the best and mentally, like she's an incredible strategist. On the left, it's Voss, there she is in the blue and white jersey, Voss powering away. For me, it's really important to be an all-arounder. It's important to be strong in every aspect, and that's what creates great bike racers. And so she was that kind of person for me. A couple years ago, I would have 
it would have seemed like an odd, an odd thing to say that I'm a role model, but yeah, I definitely am starting to experience it now. Like back home, I've done a couple mountain bike rides with, with the high school league that's starting up there. And those girls are asking me questions about racing and I'm like, wow, I'm actually at the pinnacle of the sport. And these girls are asking me what I think. And that's pretty, pretty great. And hopefully I'm inspiring someone out there to ride. Like I love training and I love just going out and riding and finding new roads. And even at home, I, there's still so many more places to explore, but this sport takes you all over the world. You get to see so many things and it's such a great way to see, see a new city or a new country. The suffering in the most picturesque landscapes is what gives us its beauty. You can see a person who is in total agony, and here they are riding in the hills, the rolling hills of Tuscany. It's like, you can suffer anywhere, and you can suffer to win. You can suffer for a cause. I think that's what makes it beautiful. After 25 wins and a rainbow jersey under his belt, Rui Costa seemed to have fallen into a bit of a drought by the start of 2020, his last win having come in 2017. Victory in February's Saudi Tour Stage 1, though, suggested a return to form for the 33-year-old. As a form of celebration, Costa returned to race on home soil for the first time in five years at this year's Volta ao Algarve and unsurprisingly for this icon of Portuguese cycling, received a hero's welcome. É sempre uma sensação muito muito agradável a correr em correr em Portugal. É, é certo que não temos a oportunidade de, de estar a, de competir duas três vezes aqui e então sempre que que é possível regressar ao Portugal e competir, é sempre muito bom. Por isso estar aqui, na, neste caso, na, na Volta ao Algarve, acaba por ser, ser uma alegria para mim e, e também uma, uma vantagem, porque conto sempre com o apoio de todos os portugueses, que é sempre muito importante para mim. Estou muito contente de aqui estar, o apoio sente-se em todo lado, desde o momento que saio do autocarro, em, na própria, na própria esta, estrada, e então isso é sempre, sempre muito agradável, contar com o apoio deles todos. É, eu creio que, que é um bocado já o estilo, o estilo português, sempre, sempre são pessoas muito, muito agradáveis, são pessoas disponíveis a ajudar, pessoas que sempre apoiam, seja, seja que modalidade for, e é, isso está muito presente, principalmente na minha modalidade. E então, é, como sempre digo, é, é sempre bom contar com, com o apoio de, de todos eles, eles estão sempre presentes, e, e então é, eu tento agradecer sempre da, da melhor maneira a todos, a todos eles que, que me apoiam durante todo, todo o ano. While Costa remains Portugal's star name, the World Tour has seen a rise in Portuguese talent in recent years. That includes the likes of Costa's UAE teammates Rui and Ivo Oliveira and Ruben Guerreiro. Normalmente, digo sempre que nós portugueses temos muito talento. Às vezes, claro, somos vistos de outra, de outra maneira que talvez um francês, um italiano, um, um belga. Mas desde o momento que, que essa oportunidade é dada, nós desbandamos os nossos, nossos valores, os, as, as, nossas, as nossas capacidades e, e, e então damos a conhecer que realmente nós portugueses temos, temos muito valor. Despite race wins being hard to come by, Costa's six-year relationship with his team has never been stronger reflected in the three-year contract he signed with UAE Emirates this off-season. Foi sempre um projeto que eu acreditei e estou feliz de, de levar muitos anos nesta equipa. As pessoas que trabalham comigo são sempre pessoas 
muito sincera, sempre disponíveis a ajudar, acaba por ser já uma família para mim, por isso a opção de, de sempre de ter ficado aqui e não ter mudado, porque sinto-me realmente muito cómodo na equipa e, e o apoio de todos eles é incondicional para mim e por isso estou aqui e estou feliz. With that guarantee in his pocket, focus now for Costa is in becoming just the fifth Olympic gold medalist in his country's history in 2021. Que serão jogos muito, muito complicados, duros, uh, talvez de, das corridas de um dia que, que, eu, que eu fiz, uh, seja é mais complicada. Irei, irei me apresentar da minha melhor forma para representar da, também o meu país. Uh, com, a, com a, a, garra, a garra maior que, que, que é possível e, quem sabe, conseguir, a, conseguir um, um êxito, que era, que era importante tanto para, para a modalidade do ciclismo quanto para mim. With that victory drought now over, Costa is determined to add even more to that rainbow jersey as he rounds out his career over the coming seasons. Claro que todas as competições que eu entro Tento dar o meu melhor, claro, se, se ganho a volta à Catalunha, se ganho a, a volta à Romandia, vou ficar feliz, porque no fundo são objetivos que possivelmente eu, eu, eu gostasse de, de conseguir, porque nunca, nunca, nunca consegui ganhar uma dessas voltas. E eu falo destas como de, de todas as outras que irei, irei estar presente. Claro, ganhar é ganhar e todo mundo parte com esse objetivo, mas quem sabe um, um objetivo pessoal fosse mesmo os Jogos Olímpicos, eu penso que a seguir ao Mundial acaba por um, a seguir ao Mundial, quero dizer eu, seria um objetivo muito, muito interessante para mim e talvez fosse mesmo a cereja no, no topo do bolo, como se diz em Portugal. That's it for this week. Until next time, keep up to date with us on social media.